what's going on guys, CJR here today with a pretty special video. I just picked up an HTC Vive. Um, I was able to pick it up in the States when I was on vacation down there in Maine. Um, I live in Canada, if you don't know that. Here in Canada, to, to order one from the Vive website, uh, I believe it's $11.49 plus taxes and then an import fee. So um, I picked it up in the States for, I think it was $10.50 all in. Uh, actually, the girl at the Microsoft store was nice enough to give me a uh, family and friends discount too. So I saved some money there. Ended up being a really good deal. I've been looking to buy one used and it worked out that I spent about $100 more um, for the brand new one than I would have spent on a used one anyways. So uh, I'll get the free games that come with it. It, it comes with Tilt Brush, uh, zombie, a zombie game, and uh, some other kind of first person exploration game. So. Uh, I'm going to do a quick unboxing of this. I did open it up and I did open some of the packages uh, only because I had to bring it across the border and I didn't want to claim it for customs. Um, so I just thought if they were to open it, I needed to look like I didn't just buy it. So I did open some of the stuff, but I really didn't go through. I don't really know what's what. Uh, so I'm going to open it here and show you what's included. And then uh, we're going to clear out this room. I actually just designed this space when I built my gaming PC. To, uh, to make room for uh, the HTC Vive because I knew eventually that I was going to buy one. And uh, we'll go through and we'll see how much room I have in here. Uh, I think we should be good. This should be a pretty nice uh, Vive setup. Here is the Vive box. Really, really nice packaging. You can see the gloss finish on this side. Uh, HTC Vive logo on this side. Um, on the back, it tells you uh, what's included. Some technical specs. Anyways, let's open this up. Uh, it says Steam VR powered. Uh, I just built a gaming PC. You can find that video here um, with a GTX 1080. So my gaming PC should be more than powerful enough to uh, to run H uh, VR games. So I'll start off here. This is the actual headset. Um, now with the Vive, uh, you're able to move around in a space. It's got two cameras, which I'll get to. Uh, so it can actually track your movement, which the Oculus is just something you put on and you sit in your chair and use the controller. Um, so uh, with that, you've got some cords that are tethered to your computer. I'm thinking I might try and develop some system to suspend the cord over my head on a pulley uh, just to move around in here, we'll see. Um, but from what I've heard, it's actually not too bad. You get used to it. You kind of can tell where it is even when you're inside the game, just your spatial awareness. And I've, I've got pretty good spatial awareness, so I'm not too worried about tripping on the cord or anything like that. Okay, so on the headset, you've actually got a connection. Uh, we've got a USB connection, a uh, power connection, and then an HDMI connection. And on the back of the headset, you've got a connection to connect a um, um, headset for sound. Uh, I kind of like that uh, they just give you the option of using your own headset instead of uh, building one in. The cost would have gone up and uh, I've got a really nice um, Sennheiser set of headphones which go perfect with this. So I'm glad that they went that route. Wow, that's pretty sweet. Good job, man. And the whole thing. You might be the Lego master builder. Cool. Okay, can you guys go downstairs and close the door because i got to finish this video. All right, we've got some of the paperwork here. I believe this is like the, yeah, this is the get started, like quick setup guide. Um, just walks you through, uh, looks like three steps, setting up your play area, downloading the software, and then setting up the VR cameras, stuff like that. Tells you everything that's uh, in the box. Pretty straightforward. I've watched, watched a lot of videos on the VR sub and that's what I would recommend you do because uh, I'm not going to go too in depth into that. So uh, here are the controllers. Okay, so these are the Vive controllers. The difference between the Vive controllers and something you would get with the Oculus Rift. The Oculus Rift is actually just a Microsoft uh, Xbox One controller. So you're sitting there just uh, with your controller, which is fine. It's just kind of a different type of experience. Uh, with these controllers, number one, they can simulate a gun really well. Um, you can see them in your environment in front of your face. You'll see like a, a virtual representation of the controllers themselves. You're able to pick up things. So you can pick up a gun, pick up a clip, load the gun, load the clip into the gun, turn it gangster style if you want. It's going to be able to sense all your movement through the cameras. And uh, I believe there's a camera on the front of the Vive. 
but that might only be, uh, there's a way that you can actually see your sur physical, real surroundings with the camera on the front of the Vive, which is a very, very cool feature. I'll get into all this later. I'll be doing a ton of gameplay videos uh, on Twitch and then posting on YouTube too. You can find my Twitch link in the description below if you want to see those videos. Um, I'll be live streaming on Twitch almost every day for the month of September. So here are the two cameras. You get two of the controllers and then you get these two um, kind of sensor camera type things that you need to mount on opposite ends of your room. We'll do that in a, in a moment here. Um, and then some of the, well, let me see, under here, you've got all your cords. Uh, each camera is powered. I'm hoping these cords are quite long because I need to run I'm gonna have to run one in the back corner there and then this corner here, so we'll see how that works out. Uh, this is your audio cable for your headphones. Uh, mounting brackets, all that kind of exciting stuff. Uh, under the controllers, I believe that these are, you actually get, I think, two chargers to charge the controllers, which is kind of nice. You can charge both at the same time and they charge through micro USB not some proprietary connection, which is nice. And then here is, uh, this houses the link box. So this is your interface between your headset and uh, the PC that you're using, your gaming PC. Uh, mounting bracket for that. And then we've got uh, the power adapter for that. Um, an HDMI cord from the box to your computer. Uh, this is a um, foam piece for people with more narrow faces. Actually, this is kind of comfortable and maybe I, I might have a narrow face. Um, I actually just ordered some uh, company, a company called VR Covers is gonna send me some uh, really cool covers that go over the headset here. Makes it more comfortable and if you have other people using your headset or yourself, uh, they're a nice fabric and you can just toss the piece of fabric into the, almost said garbage, into the wash and, and clean them so you can kind of, just a better way to uh, keep your Vive sanitary, which I'm kind of anal about washing my hands and being sanitary, so um, the VR covers are, are the way to go. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting those, plus I have game nights and stuff, so it's kind of nice. They also sell a product that's very wipeable, so um, somebody can use it. I can wipe it down, disinfect it, and then the next person can use it. So that's great for, for gaming nights. Um, just a couple other spare cords in here. We got a USB cord for the um, for the link box. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's really nice, kind of compartmentalized here. Uh, this case is really good for um, kind of like for reuse. I wish it had a handle and I wish it had a way to latch the sides. Uh, much like the DJI Phantom cases that they have now, you can actually reuse them as a carrying case. But uh, I'm not complaining, this is, a, this is a pretty darn nice case that can be uh, used over and over if you need to transport your body. So. Um, anyways guys, that's the unboxing. Uh, let's get this room cleared out and uh, we'll start hooking this thing up. Okay guys, I've got the space cleaned up. We'll do a quick measurement here, but I'll show you. I wish I had a wide angle lens. There's actually quite a bit of space here. Um, it's a mess and it pains me to not have this exactly the way I want, but I just want to get this set up, give it a try, then I'll get everything decluttered. So normally I have a couch here. Um, I've set it up so that uh, when it's not in VR mode, the couch is there. I've got a shelf here. Aside from the computer chair, and the garbage can, which I can just tuck under there. Um, that's all I really need to move to get VR ready. So um, it'll just take, it'll just be a matter of me getting whoever's here playing with me or my wife to just help me uh, move that couch out. Um, there's plenty of space with the couch in here. If I'm playing certain games, I won't need to move it out. But for maximizing my area here, that couch has got to go. And then I slide this right under the uh, desk. So like I said, I kind of rearranged this room when I built my gaming PC. Uh, the desk used to be an L-shaped desk, but I put it as one long desk so I could maximize my VR space here. So anyways, the next step is to get all that stuff unboxed and uh, kind of set everything up to uh, hook it up to the computer. And then most importantly is hanging the sensors, um, which I believe I'm gonna put one 
uh, actually one over here and then one over here. They need to be an opposite. They need to be around six feet and I think just under the shelf is right about six feet. So I'm probably going to tuck one back here and hide it. I'm 6'4", so I don't know. I need to consult the manual and see if, uh, if I should put it up higher. Um, I know that windows can be an issue. Um, it shouldn't be a problem. I've got shutters in here. Uh, the window directly across uh, from one of the sensors I can fully close. And then this one I can pretty much, I can close all this bottom part. Uh, there is still a top section open, which I don't think will affect things. If I put it in uh, this corner here, it'll be kind of facing that window, but it'll still be on an angle down and I don't even think you'll notice it. We'll get everything out of the box and uh, I'll start hooking up to the PC. From what I've heard, this can be anywhere between like an hour and three hour process. So, And uh, hopefully it only takes us an hour, hour and a half or so. Anyways, here we go, phase three. All right, so now that we've got our uh, play area all planned out, it's time to download the Vive software. So next up we are going to unpack the mounts for the, uh, or the brackets to mount the sensors on either corner of the room. Uh, pretty straightforward, we've got the plastic piece to sink the screw in, so we've got to pre-drill a hole, tap the plastic piece in. Uh, I really want to get this right the first time because I don't want to put any more holes in my walls than I already have. And then these are the little mounting brackets that the, uh, the sensors here mount onto. So hopefully this goes well the first time. All right, so I'm going to mount the first hole. Um, I'm going to mount the first hole right about here and hope that that's okay. Okay, so we've got our two holes pre-drilled. Uh, we've just got to tap in these. Got to get a little hammer. All right, I got the brackets in. It was not fun. Um, they were not easy to, to get in there. I should have just drilled it right into the wall and not put the uh, bracket holder, whatever those stupid white things are called. Um, I went to screw in this and it pushed them both back right inside the wall. So definitely butchered that one. Not sure what happened there. Also the HTC Vive software is a complete nightmare. Um, they force you to sign up for an HTC account to even download the software. Um, there's some sort of compatibility issue where I couldn't even input the information to sign into my uh, Steam account to link this HTC software, it was a absolute nightmare. So, uh, so far this process has been kind of a pain in the ass. Okay, both sensors are up. One says B, one says C. That's apparently what it's supposed to be doing. Uh, I hope they're high enough. You can see I'm 6'4", and they're pretty much right at my height. They're supposed to be 6'5 or higher. Um, I have this shelf here that would be obstructing the view. I can probably move it up another couple inches. The other one over there is right about at 6.5, so should be okay. I don't think it's super sensitive when it comes to the height thing, uh, but uh, we'll find out. So on to the next step, setting up the headset. All right, so I've got the headset all set up here. Um, I think the next step is to calibrate the headset and um, kind of set up our play area here so the headset knows what the boundaries are. I think that's what we're doing right now. So anyways, yeah, we're still working on setting up the play area. Okay, so we're setting up room scale, make some space. We've already done all this. Establish tracking. Okay, turn on the controllers, place the controllers and the headset in a location visible from the base station. And pretty much the middle of the room, I just plugged the controllers in like five minutes ago, so I don't know how much charge they come with. I, uh, I actually don't even know how to turn these on yet, so um, tutorial is not the greatest for setup. It could be much better. So how, I'm guessing, this button. Okay, so we have power, green lights, controller ready. I'll put one on either side. Don't really have a better way to show you right now because I don't know how to capture uh, this footage quite yet. Um, but you can see controller ready, headset ready. Stand in the middle of your cleared space. Point your controller at your monitor 
and pull the trigger with your index finger to continue. So this would be pretty much right in the middle of my space here. And my computer's a little bit slightly offset. Next, we will measure your available space. The space should be free of any obstacles that you might collide with while wearing the headset. Click next to continue. Okay, so this should be interesting. Okay, so I pick up the controller. Um, let's see, pull the trigger. Going all the way around my space. It'd be interesting to see how accurate this is. Okay, looks good enough to me. It says we've got three meters by 2.3 meters. That sounds pretty good to me. I'll take it. Okay, there we go. Setup complete. All right, so the next step is to put on the headset, headphones, and calibrate everything and learn how to use this thing. Oh my. All right, so here we are. We are downstairs in the game room. Just wanted to give you guys some first impressions of the HTC Vive. Uh, I've had a couple people over. I'll roll some footage of my dad and my wife playing some VR games. Um, even, I even let Andrew try it. My uh, my oldest son just quickly let him try the uh, roller coaster game. Um, I'm really impressed with the HTC Vive. One of the main things I, uh, one of the main issues I thought I might have was uh, tripping over the cord. Um, there hasn't been any problems with anybody tripping over the cord at all. Uh, it's pretty evident to, to as to, as to where it is at all times. I mean, it's, it is possible that you could trip over the cord, but uh, even though you're in VR, you're still aware that the cord is there, and it's easy to step over and stuff like that. Uh, very impressed with the controllers so far. Uh, really nice uh, feel to them. High quality. Uh, triggers feel nice. Everything is really nice on the controllers. Very, very impressed with the controllers so far. Uh, they do a great job of uh, mimicking or acting as what, whatever you're using it for. I've played a game where it's actually a, a, an actual hand. Um, being able to grip a gun, super easy. Like I said, load the guns, lightsabers. Uh, I've tried a bunch of different games. Uh, I'm going to talk more about the game specifically and I'm going to do a what I'm playing episode uh, very soon. So I'll talk more about them there. Uh, most of the games I've been playing are uh, the free ones, uh, the tech demos. I haven't got my codes for the free uh, micro uh, games that come with the, uh, the HTC Vive, the free software. So I haven't had a chance to try those yet. Um, I've tried out the lab. That's the, the lab is the HTC uh, Vive. You download it on Steam. Uh, it's the piece of software made by Valve. Uh, it's got a bunch of little tech demos in it. There's an archery game in there that was absolutely fantastic. Um, I let my dad try the Vive. I couldn't believe how fast he picked it up. He's not a video game player at all. And uh, very quickly he was, you know, loading the, the arrows back and, and shooting the little minions that are running around. He had the time of his life. I'll roll that footage, like I said, uh, right after this. But uh, all in all, very impressed with the Vive. I could highly recommend it. The room space was more than enough. Uh, I probably could have done with almost half of that space. Uh, we more than met the minimum requirements. The sensors, I feel like I might have to move them a little higher. I do uh, get some interference if I'm turned a certain way. Sometimes it'll block the sensor and uh, I'll, it'll cut to like a gray screen for a few seconds. So I think I'm gonna have to mount them maybe even a foot higher on either end and that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I think I'm just a bit too tall and uh, where the sensor comes down on an angle, it can kind of miss the headset and it can't really track where it is. So um, other than that, and uh, yeah, like I'm, that's really the only issue so far. It's been a really good experience. You can see from that footage uh, where I first put the headset on, it really is a uh, kind of a mind blowing experience putting that VR headset on for the first time. There is a minor screen door effect. Uh, you will see some pixelation. It's not headsets, the VR headsets aren't to the point where it's gonna be crystal clear 4K resolution yet. 
um, and that's just not possible. Uh, so it does take you out sometimes of the experience, but some games are better than others. Uh, at uh, I find darker games, you don't see the screen door effect. You, you can notice it more when it's really light and that first tech demo or the first uh, tutorial where they walk you through how to use the controllers. Uh, it's a big white room, so you can kind of notice it in there. But uh, um, I should say the tutorial of how to use the controllers was fantastic. Um, sets up your room space, so it's like a it's like a grid of a wall where your actual walls are. That's what you saw me doing, setting the perimeter. So if you come near that wall, a blue grid comes up and lets you know, okay, you're about to hit your wall. Uh, the tutorial did a great job of, of walking you through that. So. That's pretty much it. That's my first impressions of the HTC Vive. Like I said, stay tuned for a what I'm playing video. Uh, I might actually do a more in-depth review of the HTC Vive and some of the games. So, uh, But I've started the process to uh, figure out how to capture everything and show everything on Twitch. So like I said, if you want to follow me on Twitch, the link is in the description below. But uh, yeah, so that's the unboxing and first impressions of the HTC Vive. Uh, I'm going to roll that clip of my family trying out the HTC Vive. Oh God. Yeah, right down, down there. Cool. I think there's one right again, down again. There it is. Wow. Look up a bit, you can see. Oh my God. You can walk, step right to the edge. Like you don't want to step, like you could step another step. <laughs> it's just hard to do. Wow. It's pretty amazing though. It's pretty cool, huh? Daddy, where are you? Just listen to how, what he tells you what to do. Oh, I can't get past this part. <laughs> oh, I was pretty blown away when I first saw it too. Oh, that yeah. little guy is going to start talking to you. It doesn't take much to get immersed in this place. Yeah. <laughs> this is freaking nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. That game's yeah. fun, eh, man? It's hard. I, 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 I can even beat that one guy. Or like the guy broke my castle. I don't know why. I was having trouble aiming it. I don't want to be aiming it. Jeez. Is this an Olympic event someday? You, <laughs> you can actually step around if you need to. Like oh, I think you yeah. can step to the edge. If, yeah, there you go. Look at that. That's awesome. Like the grid will come up when you're close to the wall, so you're good. They might be breaking the castle. Oh, I gotta get my own. The balloons give you health. You did really good. Like with the controls and stuff, you picked he picked it up. I didn't think I had trouble with that. I didn't think he'd pick it up that quick, but you did good. So what did you think? The the archery thing's cool, eh? So I I had yesterday I'm thinking I'm like can't wait, but I was thinking I better just watch you because I'm gonna get this on my head and go up. Yeah. Like I said, I find ten or fifteen minutes and then get out and just kind of re because you're really you get so involved. You're you're in a virtual world. He was yeah. talking about the balloon yesterday, and yeah. and you and you know what can what it can do. But yes, you're still having a you're having a one D yeah. version. Yeah, well, and until you experience it and blow that little balloon up. Yeah. And for me, I was, I blew up the balloon. I just gave it a little tap and I was like, oh my God. As you can see, everybody's been enjoying the HTC Vive. My dad, my wife, uh, my son, Andrew. So um, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, do me a big favor and hit that like button. And until the next episode.